Um, I had a question that I was curious about today, um, and that is when when you first asked Jesus, the real Jesus, for help for the first time, really, in your life, when you when you first did that. Uh, did you experience an increase in the spiritual warfare, more attacks, more targeting in real life? Was there an intensifying to it because you finally sought Jesus for help and they, the enemy or the opposition knows that? I know this sounds crazy, <laughs> but I'm being serious. <laughs> Um, be because of what's transpired <laughs> to me on the planet um, over my life, I, I want it because I've I've held off for all, most of my life. <laughs> Even though Jesus has helped me, I've still held off on asking Him out loud for real, for help, <laughs> and I'm being serious, uh, because, you know, I, I grew up in religious bullshit, you know, and, you know, they kind of use G Jesus as a weapon, you know, if I'm honest, <laughs> they use God as a weapon. That's why I felt I couldn't really talk at, after I had been ass assaulted. I couldn't really talk because I felt if I talked, I was talking against God. I was talking against Jesus if I talked. And I know that other survivors of religious abuse have felt the same way. They couldn't talk because they felt like they were talking against God to talk about abuse that they endured uh, by a religious leader. You know, I'm sure I'm not the only one that felt they had to kept, keep quiet because if they talked about any of the abuse, they were talking against God, against Jesus, all that, you know what I mean? So I, I understand all that. <laughs> I understand um, all that and where um, you're coming from because I, I, I went through that as well. Um, so, but anyways, um, but despite that, I acknowledge that I have been helped by a higher power. Despite all that abuse, <laughs> I have been helped. And I do think it, it, it has been the real Jesus helping me. Um, despite all that, that, they made me think. Um, they made me think that Jesus didn't like me, basically. Like they, be, because I don't know. When, when you're abused in religion, you get really confused <laughs> about God and religion, and I know that. I know that very well. So you're not sure what to believe, who's on your, who really cares about you or not, who loves you or not. You don't really know, <laughs> you know. Um, you don't even know if you can trust Jesus <laughs> himself because you were abused in religion by church leaders. You know, you don't even know if you can trust Jesus even. So I know how that goes <laughs> very well. Um, so I've, I've, I've held off most of my life <laughs> of not asking Jesus directly for help my, most of my life <laughs> out loud, you know what I mean? So I was just curious if, because I even I know deep down, <laughs> the moment I claim or accept the real Jesus openly, <laughs> you know, and the enemy knows that, for, for the enemy to see that, even I know that the attacks are going to increase because of that. Even I know that deep down, 
if I claim and accept Jesus, that the onslaught will be even worse than what I've experienced so far. Even I know that. So, despite um, despite the opposition, or I call it the enemy, despite them knowing who you are, and they know that you're one of God's children, they know that already. The fact that you finally <laughs> say out loud, Jesus, can you help me? You know, and you're you're turning to Jesus out loud. I know <laughs> that that will increase. I know, like deep down, I've always known this. It will increase the attacks on the ground, whether it's narcissists, psychopaths, the attacks will increase. It'll escalate, intensify. The the thing the the things you don't see. <laughs> uh, you know how you wrestle with principalities and all that. Those things that you don't see, that will increase against you. So I I don't know how I've always known this. Like, <laughs> how do I know this? I don't know. <laughs> that I, I know if I if I if I turn to Jesus for real and accept Jesus for real out loud, I know that there's going to be attacks from all sorts of things, all sorts of groups, all sorts of, you name it, the, the, the attacks will increase. Even I know this. Somehow, I know this. I don't know how I know this. But it's just like, it's just, Something I've always been af afraid to really do, <laughs> you know, is um, turn turn to Jesus out loud, basically, and ask him for help <laughs> out loud, you know, <laughs> because I figured, I figured if I was kept alive this long, if I was still alive this long, eventually, eventually, I would I would need to ask Jesus for help. Eventually, I knew I knew I would have to. You know, um, if if I was still alive by this point, you know, and not killed over or whatever, you know, if I was still alive, I knew I would eventually. <laughs> have to turn to Jesus for help eventually. I knew I would have. So there's just no there's just no getting around it. There's no getting around it because, you know, <laughs> I'm just one man down here, you know, and there's many of them. <laughs> there's many of them. You know, and I know that there, there's many of them and there's only one of me, you know, sure there's other survivors out there spread out, but as far as close by, it's just me. So I admit I need help from higher power, Jesus, if I am to continue uh, in this life. You know, basically, if I if I am going to continue, I do need Jesus's help, and I I know that. <laughs> um, there's just no getting around it. Um, I know I need His help, um, and I'm I'm not really sure what that help will look like, but um, I know. He's the one that's been helping me. <laughs> I know that without asking. I know he's been the one that's been helping me. Without <laughs> being saved or any of that, you know, without caring about religion at all. Uh, I resigned from religion. And despite that, I do know. 
I've been helped and watched over by his angels, <laughs> something, you know. Um, but I, I'm no idiot. I'm no idiot. idiot. <laughs> I know based on what I experienced in this life so far, I know what's going on. <laughs> Uh, and it's not what everybody, it's not what it seems. <laughs> That's for sure. This world is not what it seems. Um, and I know that Jesus knows it's not, this world is not what it seems. He knows that. You know, he knows this world is not what it seems. So that's why I feel like he's the only one that can help. <laughs> Because he's not an idiot, <laughs> you know. Uh, so, it, basically, if he's helped me this far, he's not an idiot. You know what I mean? <laughs> that, that's my. That's how I conclude it. If he's known how to help me this far and watched over me this far, he's not an idiot. He knows what's going on. Uh, as far as the warfare and. Um, that type of thing. Um, but I just hope he can just give me some sanity, <laughs> uh, you know, to mainly step two and <laughs> Al Anon restore me to sanity. That's what I need God to restore me to sanity because I've I've been around insanity most of my life, point blank. I've been around insanity most of my life. It's true. So, anyways, this is this is the longest I've been away from insanity. Literally, this is the longest I've been away from it. Hundred percent. So. But, but anyways, even, even I know I can't do this by myself without help from God. <laughs> even I know that, you know, um, so. because I've. I've, I've, sur I've survived around these type of individuals most of my life. These psychopaths, whatever you want to call them. I've survived around them. Got used to it. But I've been surviving around them most of my life. <laughs> so I know that um, um, God's the only one that can heal me from all that somehow <laughs> or help me survive still um, while I'm still alive, while they're still trying to hoover <laughs> or whatever, you know, they're still trying to do that while, you know, Basically, the targeting still goes on. Uh, I'm just tired of this shit. <laughs> Can you tell I'm tired of this shit? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, stay alive and... <laughs> But once you stay alive, you're going to be targeted while you're alive. <laughs> as long as you're alive, you'll be targeted. <laughs> See how sick of this I am, you know. And I wish I wish this life wasn't like that. <laughs> you know, why why couldn't it just be normal, <laughs> a normal 
place, <laughs> basically. It's not, but... You, when you grow up in your family, you have them targeting you, abusing you, you know? You go out into the world and you're still targeted in the world. You can't escape it, you know? It gets annoying, tiresome. And I'm even annoying myself talking about this, you know, still. But I just, I just have this, I just always had this feeling, and I think it's true, that when I finally, finally asked Jesus for help, finally, myself, out loud, that the, the, the attacks are going to increase <laughs> Mo way more than I've been experiencing so far. That's just my assumption and what I've always felt. The moment I turn to Jesus out loud and claim him as my savior, <laughs> the moment I do that, the targeting will intensify. <laughs> the hate will intensify, you know, <laughs> because I'm actually trying to get help from my creator. <laughs> Basically, that sums it up. I'm finally trying to get help. I'm asking myself finally, <laughs> instead of just living and not asking for help out loud, and you know, just living, hoping things work out. You know, instead of just doing that, I'm actually out loud <laughs> asking for help. <laughs> you know, which is really. new <laughs> for me to ask Jesus for real help down here because I know I know he knows what's going on I know he knows what's going on I know I know what I know he knew what was going on in my family of origin he knew what was going on uh, he, I don't think he's an idiot <laughs> at all. So, but anyways, it's just something that I kind of assumed would happen or come with the territory um, that <laughs> once I turn to Jesus, that the, the onslaught will increase. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> That's just always been my assumption. Because like, it, it, it's, it's, it, it's a big step to uh, Stand up for Jesus. <laughs> Ask Jesus to help you. It's a big step. And to even defend Jesus. <laughs> it's a big step. You know. So for me it is. Um, so I don't know really what to expect. <laughs> um, as far as the warfare goes <laughs> on the ground. You know. So, but I'm not going to be afraid. <laughs> Fuck that. You know, I'm, I'm still going to keep going, you know. So, even though this whole world isn't what I wanted it to be, even though this whole world isn't what I wanted it to be, 
and it's not even close to what I imagined it would be. Not even close ever. This this world is, has never been close to what I had hope hope for. Not even close ever. And I think God knows that <laughs> uh, that this world is not anything I've ever. I have ever hoped for, ever, really, um, but maybe things will, st I, I hope, I'm, I'm hoping and I imagine so, that things will get better um, if I have more help from higher power <laughs> I'm hoping so I think they've gotten better so um, and hopefully it makes me stronger <laughs> um, against anything really hopefully it makes my discernment better um, as well but maybe I'll care <laughs> about the warfare, maybe I'll care to see the warfare differently and um, that it's a necessary thing or something. I don't know. I'm just, I, I, I'm just sick of it all. <laughs> You know, what's wrong with wanting to live a normal life? Like, <laughs> why kids, <laughs> normal at the t dinner table? What's so wrong about <laughs> wanting that peaceful life, you know, <laughs> instead of this warfare, basically, <laughs> you know? Here's here's the thing. I thought it would be easier to get the normal, what I consider the good life, with you know, the wife and the kids and all that. Um, I thought it'd be easier to attain that than it has been for me. That's it. That's basically it. I thought that would be easier for me to attain that kind of life, that peaceful, good life. I thought it'd be easier to attain that, but it hasn't been that easy for me <laughs> at all to attain that. And I know, and I, that's why I need help, help in that, you know, to attain that kind of thing, I guess. I don't know. But Part of me is like, a part of me is like, it's a good thing uh, that I asked Jesus for help. It's a good thing. And a part of me is like, what the hell have I done? <laughs> Both ways. Like, what the hell have I done? I know the attacks are going to increase. The, the moment, the moment I say, <laughs> the moment I say Jesus is the Savior, Son of God, <laughs> for me, you know, I know the attacks are going to increase. It's just the way it is. It's just the way it is when uh, when he's the most hated individual that has ever lived. Um, it's just the way it is. Um, you, you turn to the most hated individual for help you're going to get attacked with hate. 
I know this very well. Um, that's why that's why there's a lot of people that don't really vocalize <laughs> their belief in Jesus for real because they know the attack that's going to happen. The attack is going to come. It always does. <laughs> um, so. Just comes with the territory <laughs> of uh, teaming up with the most hated person that ever lived. <laughs> You're going to get hate. You're going to get hate as well. Yep. That's real. And I, I didn't really want, <laughs> I didn't really want to get any more hate. In life, really. <laughs> but, fuck it. <laughs> I know I can't, I can't walk this road by myself. I know I can't. I need, I need an expert in this road. I need an expert. And nobody on earth is an expert in the road that I'm walking. No one is. So I need, I need Jesus to show me, to lead me as he's the only one that has walked this road that I'm on. He's the only one that has. I don't have a choice but to turn to him. I, that's how I see it. I don't have a choice but to turn to him because he's the only one that's walked this road. Just him. Nobody else has walked this road that I'm on on this planet ever except him he's the only one that knows how this goes how this how this how this goes and how this story will go only he knows how this is going to go because he's he's been me and that's crazy to say he's been me already Talking to you on videos, he's already been, he's done that already because he's lived my life. <laughs> Do you get what I'm saying? Does that make sense? <laughs> he's lived my life already, so he's already he's he. Does that make, I don't know if that makes sense or not, but it makes sense to me. He's already, he's already been me. Does that make sense? He's already been me, Be, already. I know that's crazy. <laughs> he's, he's been me in this life, all of the, Everything, the the car accidents, injuries, <laughs> the abuse, it it happened to him too, exactly, <laughs> as it as if it was he was me. I know that's crazy, but that that's the only way he could help me this far. That's the only way, is if he was abused, the same as if it was him in my position <laughs> or being in the car accidents <laughs> you know what I mean that's the only way he's he could help me this far <laughs> you know what I mean that's how I see it but <laughs> I know that's crazy <laughs> but If the, if the scriptures are true, like people claim, and I think, and
been he's been me <laughs> already he's already walked this road <laughs> he's already he's already had this conversation <laughs> to the videos <laughs> isn't that crazy that's crazy to me <laughs> that he's 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 walked my road already. <laughs> so 10 years ago, he knew that it would come to this point <laughs> from 10 years ago. He knew it would come to this point in position 10 years ago. He already knew that because he's walked this road. Does that make sense? <laughs> I hope that makes sense. Basically, he knows he knows the future. The future you. <laughs> He's lived the future you, in my opinion. <laughs> um, before before you're living that person. Before you become that person, he's already been that person. Does that make sense? makes sense to me you know but only he knows how this goes <laughs> for me only he knows how this goes how this road goes how it ends And I have a feeling it won't end for a while. I have a feeling uh, because Jesus has walked this road already. <laughs> He's already walked this road that I'm on. <laughs> he knows it won't end anytime soon because he knows how to help me, heal me, walk with me because he's walked this road already. <laughs> it's crazy. So he knows how, he knows what it's like to be me exactly. In, the, in my mind, in my body, he knows how, what it's like to be me when no one on the planet understands me. No one does. Even me. He knows what it's like to be me. He knows how I think, how I operate, <laughs> all those things. As if it as if it was him. It's crazy shit. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it's factual. So it's more than just a savior on the outside of you. He knows what it's like to be you exactly because he suffered your life already, he lived your life already. That's my belief. But from what I've gone through so far, he's already lived my life. He's already walked this road entirely. He's he's been in the same positions I've been in. He's 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 exactly. He he knows what it's like to be me. In my worst position, he knew he knew what it was like. To now he knows what it's like. When I was a kid he knew what it was like to be me. You know what I'm saying? I know this is deep. <laughs> it's it's deep. <laughs> but like I said, I wanted to know the truth. I wanted to know if Jesus was the real deal. Very badly. I wanted to know if that was true. 
I didn't care about anything else. I get destroyed. No one can put me together. No one can save me. No Jesus. That simple. That simple. <laughs> So, because if there's no Jesus, <laughs> this, this world has no point. In my opinion, there's no point to this world. It's all bullshit. <laughs> you know, it, it really is. <laughs> this world's all bullshit. So. so, I really wanted to know because I felt it was the most important thing <laughs> to figure out what the truth was and I really wanted to know if Jesus was real true so, so yes I got destroyed to figure that out but At least I figured it out. <laughs> At least I knew what what was a lie, what was it, and what was true, you know. Because I didn't I didn't believe what religion was telling me <laughs> about many things. I didn't believe what they were telling me <laughs> about many things, you know. And I didn't want to know <laughs> the stories of Jesus or the you know the cartoons of Jesus or you know all those things they try to dumb you down about Jesus <laughs> I wanted to know the real raw truth <laughs> I wanted to know the real raw truth no, without any bullshit I wanted to know if there really was a Jesus for real I didn't I didn't care about being saved. I don't even care about any of that. I just wanted to know if he was real. If it was true. <laughs> That's it. I didn't care about anything else. You know? I didn't I didn't care about surviving the second coming. I didn't care about living the second coming. <laughs> I I just wanted to know if, if that if if it was real. Like there was truth to it. So, and I went to greatest extents <laughs> to figure out if it was true, straight from the suffering, straight from the suffering, point blank, straight from suffering. I wanted to know from suffering to prove it. <laughs> so, because I don't believe a word people tell me. <laughs> And I wasn't, I wasn't believing a word they were saying about Jesus, not a word. Uh, so, that he was real and all that and all that, you know. Religion, babble, bullshit, you know. You can tell I got pretty sick of religion. <laughs> and, you know, Jesus was a part of that in the religion, you know, a little bit. So you can tell I got sick of all that shit. <laughs> and Jesus knows I hate all that shit. He knows I hate all that. I hate it so much, I don't even know if I would want to uh, walk a, a road where I'm getting saved. To that point, I hate religion that much that I don't even want to walk a road that I'm getting saved. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's how much I hate religion. <laughs> so.
I figure if Jesus wants to save me, he can do it out in the open. <laughs> outside religious buildings. You can save me out, outside all religious buildings. Save me somehow. If you want to save me. Basically. Um, that That's how much I despise religion. <laughs> despise it. Hate it. Always have. Um, I think they're they're just trying they're just trying to control people, and they use they use Jesus's name to control people. I'll put that point blank. They use his name as a weapon. They do. It's it's real. They they slap his name on the building, <laughs> and you know they use his name as a weapon to shut you up, keep you quiet. If you're being abused, you're too afraid to talk. You know, because you're talking against the Lord's servants. You're talking against Jesus' servants. You, you're so afraid, you know, um, to talk because of that. You know, and they use Jesus to back it up. So, I get all that. I do. I understand that very well. <laughs> and uh, God, God knows I understand that. <laughs> uh, how they, they use... God as a weapon. They use God as a weapon in religion. Um, it's not about love <laughs> at all. It's about putting fear in you, controlling you, basically. So, anyways, I felt like I got a good amount off my chest, <laughs> but I was mainly I was just curious that if I really walk with Jesus for real will the attacks increase from all fronts should I expect that <laughs> because I think that's going to happen you know <laughs> Jesus helping me for real well and I'm allowing it I'm walking with him for real you bet your ass there's going to be more attacks <laughs> you bet your ass <laughs> And I know this. I've always known this. And a part of me has been trying to hide from Jesus. So I don't have to walk this road. <laughs> because I know I know he wants something from me. You know, I've been trying to hide from him my whole life. And I can't hide from him. <laughs> I know he wants me to help him or something for, for, for some reason. Somehow he wants my help, and I can't. I can't escape it. I can't escape this fate. <laughs> you know, I can't escape it. You know, no matter where I go. You know, I can't hide anywhere. You know, I can't escape this fate. Basically, this of Jesus. <laughs> can't escape him. <laughs> I can't. I can hide from the world pretty good. For the most part, I can hide from the world. But I can't hide from Jesus. I know this. He knew where I was. At my worst. He knew where I was. Somehow. Somehow he kept track of me. Somehow, you know, when I didn't even know he existed at all. Somehow he knew where I was. It's crazy. But, but ever ever since he ever since ever since I noticed that he was the one that was helping me, ever since I noticed that, like Back, back in the day, when I first noticed, it was Jesus helping me. Um, I knew that eventually that he would want me to help him in some way. Eventually. I knew he would. Like, and and I, I admit that I admit he's helped me. <laughs> I admit that I do.
Should I help him back? <laughs> Maybe. You know. Maybe I can help him for helping me. Basically, I, I guess. You know. So. He, he sees something in me. <laughs> Some reason he sees something in me, <laughs> something. Nobody else sees something. <laughs> Family doesn't see something in me, but Jesus sees something in me. Somehow, I don't see something in me, but he does. <laughs> It's just crazy. But it's factual. <laughs> he, he knows that I know that he's been the one helping me the whole time. He knows that I know that. He's been helping me the whole time. Not, not my higher self. Not the universe. I, it's been him. No one, no one, no one knew how to heal me. That's how I know it's him helping me. No one, no one's gone to the extent of suffering like he has, and I know this. No one has gone to the extent of suffering that he has. So that's how I know it's him helping me. Because I know damn well no soul on the planet has been through more than me. I don't care if they're in a wheelchair. I don't give a damn. They haven't suffered more than me. And God knows this. Both mental suffer, physical suffer, both spiritual suffer, everything. No, no one's, I don't care. I don't care who says they've suffered more than me. It's not true. And God knows it's not true. Because he's suffered the same as me. He knows there's no one that's been through more than me. On the planet. Currently. There's nobody. But it's his, it's his secret, I guess, that he knows that. He knows that no one's been through more than me. <laughs> Suffering-wise. Without the body dying, no one's been through more than me, except Jesus. That's it. He's the only one. And I, a part of me can't believe it. <laughs> that it's factual. That he actually went through the extent that he did. the depths that he went to lower than me he went lower than me he's been lower than me you think you think i'm depressed you know people say i'm depressed jesus been jesus has been way more depressed than me i know that he's he's, he's been the most depressed out of everybody he he knows how that feels to be uh, de depressed, you know. So 
when people say I'm depressed. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> has been more depressed. <laughs> He's been lower than me. <laughs> Let that sink in. If people think I'm depressed, they say I'm depressed. <laughs> Jesus has been more depressed. <laughs> Way more depressed for me. From at more than me. He's been lower than me. When when it says uh, he descended below everybody, it's true. He's been below everybody. Lower than everybody. He's been lowest of the low. Lowest of the low. You think somebody's depressed, so depressed? Jesus, Jesus has been more depressed way more depressed than anybody you, that you think is depressed. That's how low he's gone. <laughs> it's true. But that's just that's just crazy to me. It's still crazy to me. How low he's been. <laughs> Cuz I know how low I've been. He's been lower. He's been lower than me. That, that's the only. That's the only way he can lift me up. That's the only way he can lift me up. Is he descended below me? Basically, that's the only way he, he can lift me up. Is he's been below me. That's a crazy thing to think about but it, it's true that's the only that's the only reason I'm I, I can even have any semblance of improvement is because he's been be below me he's been lifting me up himself you know you know antidepressants can only do so much it's been Jesus lifting me you know what I mean? So, not the antidepressants. <laughs> like I said, they don't do shit compared to what Jesus can do. You know? But, anyways, I, I guess I can't believe how. How long this has gone, <laughs> how far this has gone, <laughs> you know, how, how, how long he's stuck with me, you know, there's no, there's no quit, there's no quit in Jesus, none, there's no quit in him, there's quit in me. <laughs> I admit that there's quit in me, but there's no quit in him. Somehow he stuck with me this whole way when I would never. No one would stick with me this whole way. Nobody would. I bitch, I complain. <laughs> you know, I don't want to be here. He still sticks with me. Still, still, still sticks with me. Still helps me. Still. Despite despite all that. But it does kind of give me peace in a way. In a weird way. That he knows what it's like to be in my body. He knows what it's like to be me. Crazy. So, that, that's how well he understands it. Perfectly. He understands it perfectly. What it's like to be in my body and in my mind. Both. And in my spirit. He knows what it's like to be me.
por ver. I want to say for this video, I guess, but I felt like I got a lot out that I wanted to get out. <laughs> but anyway, I guess that's all I want to say. Later.